Welcome back to another episode of Built From Day One. Uh, we are just off of a big Timberwolves win in the play-in game um, against, who do we play? The Clippers. <laughs> uh, we beat the Clippers 109-104, uh, to 104, uh, moving into officially the seventh seed. So now we play Memphis, um, and I figured we'd do another prediction type kind of look ahead at the schedule for um, all the games that we're going to play. And, uh, well, not schedule, but all the games that we're going to play against Memphis, um, how many games we're going to play against Memphis, and uh, how I think people are going to play. But if you're new here, we do live streams after every single game. Uh, we do have a little bit of content like this. If you like content, content like this, uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel to see those live streams, um, and just follow us along on Twitter and TikTok and all the different socials. All right, so I pulled up a random video. Uh, well, it's not random. It's, it's against Memphis, but um, it's just a random Memphis game that we played this year. So um, my predictions, I I'm going to get to my f official prediction in a little bit. But I really do feel like this series could go either way. Uh, I, I don't necessarily think 100% certain. You know, if you've watched some of the live streams in the past, you've heard me complain about how scared I am of Memphis. I'm not as scared right now because of how we performed in the play-in. Because that was a playoff game, basically. Um, and we looked pretty good. You know, we held... Not to say that we were perfect. Obviously, Towns was incredibly um, limited. <laughs> um, but we won. Uh, and that was not... The, the, Clippers are not a bad team. Um, we beat a good team in an important game that we both wanted to win. One and done. Um, so that gave me a little bit of belief um, going into this Memphis series. Uh, Memphis is obviously a better team to face than the Suns, so thank goodness we're playing Memphis. Um, but I really do feel like this could go kind of either way. Um, on the year, uh, each of us are 2-2, two and two, so we're 2-2 two and two against each other this year. Um, one game, we did beat them by like 40-ish points, so we did beat them by a lot. Uh, but this is a very deep team that we're talking about with Memphis. You know, I think a lot of people just think John Morant. Maybe they think Dylan Brooks. Um, but, I mean, they don't understand the depth. And not only that, the Timberwolves killers you guys have. You know, DeAnthony Melton is one. They've got, I mean, Tyus Jones, obviously. he's He can be a Timberwolves killer. Kyle Anderson has been a Timberwolves killer. Brandon Clark has been a Timberwolves killer. And Zaire Williams. I mean, this team is deep. Um, now, at the same time, when you're thinking about the Minnesota Timberwolves from an outside perspective, you're probably thinking, oh, Carl Anthony Towns, uh, maybe Anthony Edwards, maybe D'Lo, and then mm, who else? Maybe Malik can make some threes, but that's about it. You're not really thinking too much beyond that. Um, so, you know, I, I think that this is going to be an even series. I think this will be a really fun series, and I hope it is. I hope we have a long series. But I won't necessarily be surprised if either team sweeps one another. <laughs> I, I feel like that could happen. Um, I'd say that's probably a low chance of happening. I think it's likely to go to six or seven games. I, I really do feel like this is a six or seven game series. Um, and I certainly hope so because I got games for, I got tickets for game six. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I, I would, I, I think this is going to be a good series. Um, for the Timberwolves, I think a huge factor is. Can they win one of the first two games? If they can win one of the first two games, then I do think they are going to win the series. Um, whether it's game one or game two. Game one especially. If we can win game one, I'm feeling really good. Game two, I still feel good, but it's not as good. Because um, I, I do feel good about our home games. Uh, I, I do also think, though, if we win one of the first two games, especially if we win the first game, I feel like Memphis is going to come into target center on, in game three um, and really play hard. Uh, really play hard so uh, it's gonna I think it's gonna be a really fun series I hope it is I certainly do not want to have a Houston Rockets-esque series where we have Towns in foul trouble like in the play-in um, and it's just like we have one fun game and that's it I don't want that so and honestly I if I remember correctly I think we actually played pretty well in the first Houston Rockets game but that's a completely different team a completely different team Towns is the only person from that um, so I guess you know it. It could be it could be fun in a lot of ways. Um, these teams, I think it'll get chippy. Uh, one thing I've seen a lot from like uh, both the Memphis Grizzlies subreddit, um, along with Twitter posts, is that people seem to have this vibe. And I don't know, maybe I'm just biased and I didn't realize it when it, something happened. But they just have this vibe that Patrick Beverly is going to apparently hurt one of their players. If you just take a little gander through the Memphis Grizzlies Twitter. And I'm not even I'm not even trying to like cause beef or anything. It's just literally that's what's happening. I I, I couldn't believe it. I was like, what are they going to be talking about? Well, uh, whatever. 
I just kept coming across comments that were like, I just have this feeling that he's going to try to purposefully hinder, or he's going to purposefully injure Jaw or something like that. And I'm like, I just don't get that vibe. I, I know there was, we were having some discussions in our Discord, shout out our Discord, um, about how I think in the past there may have been, there was beef between Patrick Beverly and uh, Russell Westbrook, where I think Russ may have gotten hurt from one of their altercations. I'm not 100% sure. Um, and, you know, this is definitely biased coming from a Timberwolves fan. Uh, but I, I guess I don't really view Russ as, like, the type of player to do that. I think if there's somebody that's more going to hurt somebody on the other team, I think it's one of two players. I think, one, Nas Reed, not because he's intentionally doing it. He's just kind of oofy when he's out there. And he can roll and go over people's ankles and fall because he's very, I mean, he's on the ground a lot. <laughs> um, Towns, is, uh, Towns as well. Both of them are on the ground a lot. Um so those are the ones obviously accidental but um and then torian prince is i mean realistically torian prince i don't think people realize this but he is probably one of our dirtiest players i mean i wouldn't call him dirty but he he definitely gets his fair amount of shoves in in the game <laughs> uh, i just think we haven't seen it yet and he hasn't been in the playoffs yet so or he hasn't been in the play-in or obviously any games with us he's questionable for tomorrow but we'll see um, I, I don't really think of Patrick Beverly as that player. I, he's more of an irritant. He's not going to try to hurt you. He's going to try to slap the ball out of your hands, get you a technical, and that's it. He's not, I don't know, I, that's my opinion. I could be wrong. I'm a Timberwolves fan, so obviously I've been in love with Pat Bev this season. Um, other than him asking for money the other day, that was really uh, weird. But um, but the Bud Light thing was funny. So, I don't know. As you can see, though, I mean, these games are close. Um, the... We, we, I think we were full strength. Other than, they did not have Dylan Brooks in any of the games. Um, and that Dylan Brooks is somebody that could really hurt us. I think Dylan Brooks only averages over, against the Timberwolves like 16 or so points in his career. Um, but that doesn't make me... Uh, I've just seen Dylan Brooks torch us before. Um, and he is becoming their kind of spiritual leader, it looks like. So I'm, I'm definitely worried about Dylan Brooks. And just like players that can get into corner three-point situations... I haven't looked up his actual like shooting chart to see where he shoots best from, but if he's if he's able to shoot from the corners, I mean they have a lot of people that can shoot from the corners. I know Dyer Williams, I believe, is a pretty good corner three point shooter, um, and we, they were just showing him Brandon Clark, not a three, not necessarily three point, but just hustle and energy out playing happen. That is scary to me because the Timberwolves, when they get beat by hustle, they start not caring, and. It shows, and we just keep going further and further down that hole. Um, jaw doesn't necessarily scare me so much. I know he can do damage, and I'm not saying that he's not going to go off some game, you know, and it's going to look crazy. I think it's more of the supporting cast for Jaw that's going to win the games, though. Um, but as it is with any team, but it's um, one thing. Velo, his stats, he's averaging insane numbers he's averaging like 30 points against the grizzlies this year um uh, ants also had some pretty good games cat's been very average cat um but it's been it's been a good series between us this year um and i the, actually you know i was talking about coming out of the all-star break earlier um the or maybe i wasn't if i didn't the the, the grizzlies came out of the all-star break four and three we came out six and one our first game was against the grizzlies and we won um, this may even have been that game. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but not that that's necessarily an indicator of how they're going to play in the playoffs. But, you know, there's not really any other breaks during the season that are as long as the play-in break. Um, so I figured, why not? Let's just see. Because we play really good after we get some rest, usually. So, especially Ant. Um, so, another good reason to win that first play-in game. Um... But playing Memphis, man, it's going to be fun. And as you can see, it's a closed game down to the end here. And uh, I think Carl's going to have a better game, a better series. I, I think he's going to be quite good this entire series, more of what we normally expect from Towns. Um, from a more veteran team, I would expect uh, them to be able to take Towns, like the Clippers, take him out of the game. Um, I don't know if the Grizzlies can. They don't. They just don't match up well because Steven Adams is there and Towns can go past Steven Adams. I mean, I know he's big, but, like, he can blow by him. Exactly like this play right here. I mean, this is kind of gross because he had the small on him. But if he has a small on him, then I, I'm i not comfortable. But, um, and like, Jaron Jackson Jr., I don't know. It's just a little different. But 
came out with the win. That's really all that matters. My predictions. I'm thinking, as I said earlier, it's going to really depend on who wins the first games. I can't gauge it off of that, but and I'm going back and forth in my head every day now. I think I am... I mean, okay, for reference, I chose the Clippers to beat us in the play-in. I think I'm at a point right now where... It's so close. I was su certain that the Clippers were going to beat us, or close to certain. Um, but the Grizzlies, I, I feel better about. I, I think I'm going to have to go Grizzlies. I I'm going to have to go Grizzlies. I think it'll be a close series. I think it'll be a long series, um, which will be fun. I, I just want good basketball, fun basketball. We got to the playoffs. Honestly, if we lose this series, I'm okay. We made it. We earned our seventh seed. And if we have a good, especially if we have a good series against them, even if we lose, um, this season's going to win. I am ready to take this win, move on to next season, and improve further. Um, you know, I think Towns is going to have some good games. I think you're going to see some ant games. Um, D'Lo apparently played really well. Um, but I think you have to watch out for those kind of, not role players, but maybe more role players like the D'Anthony Meltons, the Brandon Clarks. Um, those players killed the Timberwolves. Um, Conchar, he had a crazy game against the Timberwolves. So those are the players that you have to watch out for. Um, I think that the Grizzlies win. I'm going to say the Grizzlies in seven. Grizzlies in seven. Um, and I will gladly be wrong. So hopefully I am. Uh, my co-host Ashwin is going to actually do another, uh, his own preview here. So take a look at that um, when it comes out. Uh, but if you like this video, subscribe to the channel. Like I said, we do live streams after every game. Um, and if you uh, like this video, uh, like the video so that we can do more stuff like this. Um, but join us in, uh, in the chat. Uh, after the game on Saturday at 2.30 Central. Um, and I'm sure we'll have some wild takes. So I'll see you in the Discord.